Good day, everyone. So let's let's go to Jupiter today, shall we? Let's find out where Jupiter lies in the world for us. And, you know, do we live on our Jupiter line? Have we traveled to our Jupiter line? Do we want to go to our Jupiter line? I say let's do it. And first thing to look at, everybody has Jupiter lines, and some of them can be in, for example, I live in the United States. Some people can have their Jupiter lines right in the United States, or they may fall out of the United States and other parts of the world. Some people could have a Jupiter line in Australia. Somebody could have it in Japan. Somebody could have it in, you know, the Middle East or Central America or South America or Europe. Maybe your Jupiter line runs through uh, Wales. You know, maybe yours is in Juneau, Alaska or up in Canada. Everybody has a Jupiter line, and sometimes the Jupiter line may be out to sea somewhere. And if that's the case, it doesn't mean you don't have any Jupiter energies. It just means that that particular line for you is kind of out in a remote, you know, kind of out in a more of a remote area. The only way to know if Jupiter resonates with you is by either Going to the the Jupiter line, you know, visiting that line, traveling to that line, living on that line. Some people do live on their Jupiter lines, and or dealing with people from a people, places, and things from a remote activation standpoint. Meaning, if I live in the United States and I have really a lot of success with people on my Jupiter line, then to me it is working for me even at a distance. And so let's say that this person is saying, you know, I really just need to go somewhere where I can feel more inspired, where I can feel lucky, where maybe I can be, you know, write a book and be published, or I might want to learn a second language sometime. I'm going to take a hiatus. I may want to go back to school and get my law degree. I may just want to be an inspirational speaker. I just, I just don't like maybe where I'm living, and I need to feel better. I need to feel more abundant. I need to feel more inspired. Where do I go? And Jupiter is where you would want to look at for that. Have I gone to my Jupiter lines? Yes. And did I feel lucky and abundant there? Yes. One of mine was in Juneau, Alaska. My other Jupiter line is over in Australia, Sydney, Australia. And I definitely felt abundance and inspired in both areas. I didn't want to leave and come home on both of my Jupiter trips (laughs) that I took. So when I went to Australia, I was upgraded to the concierge level. So I had all these free, great breakfasts and all this great stuff. And I was also approached and asked if I would be interested in a position uh, at one of some of the department stores. And I was like, wow, I'm not over there even looking, you know. And so it was. it's that kind of energy. And everybody will experience their Jupiter differently. You won't know how it feels until you either go there yourself or you're living on that energy yourself or you've learned about that energy yourself or you're interacting with people from that Jupiter line. And because you all have free will, okay, the experiences you have on Jupiter may be totally different from mine or someone else's. And I know someone who lives on her Jupiter line. And she told me, before she even knew she was living on her Jupiter line, she said, you know, I just feel really good here. I don't see myself moving anywhere else. That's cool to me. If you live on your Jupiter line, that is pretty cool. That's what I have to say. So look for where Jupiter is in the, in the whole world. Find out. Do you live on your Jupiter line? Do you want to travel to your Jupiter line? Do you want to learn more about your Jupiter line energies? In this case, this person would be learning more about Sydney, Australia, and all the cities on the north of this, going all the way up to the green area. It's called, what's that city? Green something. Anyway, those are the areas where her Jupiter is in this example. And that is where she will experience her Jupiter, be it that she's there or versus that she's not. So everybody will experience these things differently. 
and you all have your own energies to understand and work with. So we've gone to Jupiter for this example. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye.